Freud thought that the personality develops as a result of conflict between people's pleasure-seeking and aggressive impulses, and the way their desires for pleasure and aggression fit in society's rules. Our pleasure and aggression impulses come from our innate drives. Freud theorized that the conflict between our innate drives and the rules for society centers on three interacting parts of the mind, the id, the ego, and the superego. The id is a real pleasure seeker, and it wants immediate gratification. It wants sex. Come here, baby. It's into aggression. Hey, I'll smash you to bits. And what it wants, it wants right away. Now! Give it to me now! The ego tries to meet the id's needs the best it can without letting it run wild and wreak <laughs> havoc. The ego operates under the reality principle, keeping desires realistic and under control so they can bring long-term pleasure instead of pain and chaos. The ego mediates between the wild desires of the id and the restraints imposed by the superego. The superego is like a conscience that represents society's norms and values. It goes one step past the ego by considering not only the real, but also the ideal. The superego thinks about how we ought to behave according to our society. It uses ideas about morality that come from our parents and our environment, and gives us a strong sense of right and wrong. Our superegos can make us feel very proud or very guilty. It often opposes the id, and the ego works really hard to reconcile the two. Freud said that